Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miriam. So we are going to be harvesting this pot. So it has gone over 170 days. And so I'm really interested to see if it will look any different. Because I did put in a whole sweet potato that was chitting. And yeah, so let's get started. So you do see some of the leaves yellowing. And a little bit of like a... Check out that big praying mantis. We'll probably just leave him over here. And I'm not scared of bugs, and obviously he was doing a great job eating off whatever little aphids and little bugs, because there's barely any damage. in one sweet potato that is chitting there is an endless amount of plants that could possibly develop and so it definitely led to, led to a lot of root crowding and sweet potato crowding and so these did not get as big as the other video so if you're not already check out the link below to a 170 day video those are almost the size of my arms and so um these did get a little bit smaller and so I did have one purple sweet potato and one garnet slip in there and so we did get a few of those and so there are you know, some decent sized ones but definitely way smaller than the other pot I had that only had about um, three to four slips in it and so definitely keep that in mind um, the crowding will affect it because the root space will get so dense that the potatoes themselves will not be able to even grow and so I was able to tell that definitely there was the potential of it being more sweet potatoes but these roots just did not get to size and so yeah that was just a little bit of an experiment so I hope that helps you guys in your sweet potato growing definitely limit your amount of slips that you're putting in because there are many actual 10 gallon pots half the size or even a third of the size of the pot that I used that returned the same amount so it was just super super crowded so I will see you guys in the next one bye